Hi folks, good to see you again here, if you want to hear the craziest stories and situations people have been in throughout their life, I suggest you to hit that subscribe button, you won't regret it. Let's bounce straight to the video. I 20 male found out my girlfriend 18 female got a sugar daddy. Any advice? A bit of background information. My girlfriend and I are long distance and we talk a lot. Every day and we spend a lot of time together. She just told me last night that she had essentially arranged for someone to send her money in exchange for a few videos of her. Doing numerous things nothing more than cleavage so far such as drooling on her breasts. Putting fingers in her mouth etc. She had seen this sugar baby trend on TikTok and jokingly mentioned it to a guy friend who she knows online who responded what if you were my sugar baby. From what I have heard, this is where the whole thing started and recently she had been asking me questions such as would you still love me if I had a sugar daddy? Would you leave? What if I was paid $200 a week to show only my cleavage? Honestly she has a thing for messing with me so I assume she was joking, but tonight she came clean with it after she got her first payment. I had previously stated that I was strongly against this idea and jokingly replied to her questions with answers such as of course. I'd leave etc. Basically dismissing the idea completely. She had confronted me more seriously about it a few days prior. And I had been more serious in my answers and she basically said it'd be hard because I love you a lot. And assured me that she wasn't going. To go through with it. I left it at that and didn't mention it anymore until she came clean as I said earlier. Honestly. I was upset and hurt that she broke my trust. Although. I must say a few weeks before we went through a rough patch and I sought comfort in somebody else which basically led to small flirty comments between me and the other individual which she dubbed emotionally cheating. So I tried to basically say. All right. I understand that it hurts to have your trust broken, and I fully said again now that I want her to cut this off which she had said she will do after she receives the other half of her money from what she sent so far. The problem is. She just seems really bummed out and says she understands my point of view, but also keeps denying things. When I justify myself such as me saying that I feel it would lead me to resent her as it essentially a second relationship which we had both clearly stated we were one for one and she hated me even talking to other girls as she'd get jealous very easily. She basically denied such statements in a way like it wouldn't, but okay when I would say that it could potentially lead to more being asked of her and that I am uncomfortable with the conversation part as opposed to the actual videos as I feel it is. Being emotionally involved even though she keeps saying it wouldn't be real I. E her feelings would be fake as she's just doing it for the money. Some additional information. She continues to justify that she is only happy with showing her. Cleavage as people get to see it every day for free so why not get paid for it? And also other similar statements trying to rationalize her decision such as she has no other means of earning money and that she feels bad not being able to buy me things back or her friends things etc. She basically makes it out to be her only option as she is super busy with studying in church if not otherwise studying. Essentially making it impossible for her to hold her job. It seems as though she resents my request for it to be cut off as she would like to earn some easy money as she sees it as in. Her eyes it will just be showing her cleavage for free money every week. Things have been really good between us recently up until this kind of came into play. She constantly showed me tons of love and affection. Too long didn't read. My girlfriend got an online sugar daddy who was previously an online friend she hadn't spoken to in a long time. She thinks it is easy money as she will only ever have to show her cleavage and put her fingers in her mouth. Thank you for reading. I'll gladly answer any questions or provide more info if things seem unclear or ambiguous. I appreciate any input or advice. Edit. I think I am finally starting to crack her. She brought it up again earlier and I justified how it just seemed she cared more about the money than us. She told me she cried for an hour and when. She called me she apologized. This could be the first step towards solving my problem. No actual way that will stop at cleavage. I would bail ASAP. You'll end up getting hurt. 
Thanks for your reply. C. It took me a while to even get her to expose her lewd. Picture self with me. She is not super body confident, and so I do believe that she doesn't want to show the rest of her body off. There is something I've never seen. I'm sure you can use your imagination to fill in the blank. She has agreed to stop. But as I said just seems very bummed out. She seemed to naively believe that cleavage is all she would ever be expected to show. She has always been a very honest girl with me. And I could see it was burning away at her to hold it from me. Which is why she constantly suggested the idea rather than straight up say this was something she was going to do. She is also a virgin and this is the first time she has ever done anything like this. Well you know she tried to keep at least this from you. I suspect her online friend is manipulating her for more. If she continues the money and level will keep going gradually up. Say a swimsuit. Shot. Then why not underwear show less than a bikini? Eventually she'll get justification for online X shows. And maybe worse. Break up. Let her figure out what's important. If you're what she wants she will make a true effort for you. If not. Then you know you did the right thing. First of all. Thank you for the reply. I really understand your point of view. But I really want to make breaking up a last resort. I have been with this girl for a while now and I feel we have maintained a really good relationship. I just think she is being very naive believing that she can get away with just showing cleavage forever. It's pretty rare that sugar daddies are satisfied long term with those kinds of images. Does she have a plan in place for if he ramps up what he's asking for? Is she sending photos that she would be ashamed or embarrassed if he chose to spread them publicly in retaliation for her not giving him more. How much personal information does he know? Sugaring is X work. You're exchanging S Zuli charged texts and images at a minimum. X workers have all sorts of safeguards and precautions in place and vet their clients thoroughly. She hasn't done any of that she's enjoying being desired but hasn't put apparently any thought into long-term or safety. That's a uh, bad. Even if you were on board, she's going about this in completely the wrong way. If she really truly wants to sugar, she needs to do research on other people who are sugaring and how they handle things. X. Work is far from easy. And it takes a lot of effort and time to actually do it well. All of that being said, it sounds like you're approaching deal breaker territory here. You've made it clear that you want a 100% monogamous relationship. But she wants to test the waters of an open relationship. Neither of you are wrong. But if she's set on her current path then you two are almost certainly heading for a breakup. All you can do is tell her again. Clearly. That you consider that to be a S. Zool relationship with another person. And her doing it. Would hurt you. It's okay for her to be disappointed she can't get her easy money. But it's not okay for her to belittle your feelings or be passive aggressive. You didn't sign up for an open relationship. And the vast majority of people would consider even. Light sugaring to be cheating. She can take it or leave it. Appreciated. Good advice. I kind of just wanted to open her mind more to the risks of this. Do you have anything further you can contribute? There are plenty of horror stories on the internet. Since I am not a ex worker, it's not really my place to speak. But a basic Google search will probably get you far. Second story My 22 female sugar daddy 51 male wants to marry me. I met my sugar daddy two years ago on seeking arrangements. I was just trying to put myself through uni. And to pay the bills my parents are not supportive at all. When we started talking I was suspicious at first. He offered a lot of money just to spend time with me. He was very respectful and nice. I was new to being a sugar baby. And he was my first sugar daddy. I have always had low self-esteem. 
so it was nice to be taken care of and encouraged. He is a very successful restauranteur and very handsome. We didn't start having X until I turned 21. I could tell he was holding back, but we did everything at the pace that I was. Comfortable with I am just saying all this to paint a picture of our relationship so far. The catch was that he wanted me to go off birth control and only have X raw. He never slept with any other sugar babies until me. We started seeing each other more and more as COVID progressed. I would do my uni lectures at his place while he was on business calls. I basically moved in with him at the start of 2021. The money was super helpful. It was paid per week plus. Anything else I asked for when we were together. He first asked me to marry him after we had X. It was a joke obviously. We laughed it off. He would ask more often when I moved in. But it was always light-hearted and I would laugh it off. Earlier this week we went out to dinner. And then afterwards in the park he pulled out a ring. Got on one knee and proposed. He was very insistent. I felt very pressured and told him I needed time to think. We got into a big argument. I have been crashing on my friend's couch since then. I do love him. But obviously I am confused. I don't want him to stop being my sugar daddy. And I don't think he will continue to support me if I don't marry him. I could see us being married happily. But not right now. I sent him a long text message explaining how I felt. But he just said I obviously don't care about him. Side note. He has a daughter my age but I have never met her. She lives overseas. What should I do? Edit. Thank you everyone for your support. It's so good to get another perspective. My friends enjoy the nights out we all go on that he has paid for so they think I should stay with him. I can't believe I let myself be so blindsided by the money. It's over. I'll collect my things and give him the key in the morning. New life awaits. And for those asking yes. I have been saving my money. I have. To thank my finance units for the investing tips. Don't worry I'll be okay. Too long didn't read. Basically title. My sugar daddy of two years wants to marry me. I love him and I am worried he will cut off support if I don't. His condition to waiting to have X with you was for you to go off birth control and for him not to wear condoms and then asked you to marry him. Sounds like he wanted to trap you to be honest. This arrangement has a shelf life. Be realistic. While it's a means to an end. Don't mistake the means for the end. You talk about seeing yourself marrying him at some point. Obviously not the original intent. What outcome did you envision for yourself? Don't lose sight of that. If the arrangement ends, it's a good thing. Time for you to start relying on your own resources and establishing yourself in life. Thank you. I think I was just overwhelmed at the prospect of someone wanting to marry me. Ending it will be messy, but it's for the best. Did you go into this with the aim of becoming a stay-at-home mom with an allowance at 23? Or did you go to uni to pursue your own dreams? I don't know much about sugar daddy and sugar baby arrangements, but ultimately you have to live your life for you. Did you want to be married at 22? Did you want to be pregnant in your early 20s? Why did you want to go to uni? The fallout of this may very well be that you end the arrangement. But at 22 I can guarantee you will love many other people in your life. And not solely because they're providing for you financially. If this was a sugar daddy setup that turned to love he wouldn't be putting conditions on you. Full stop. You need to lay it out for him. You love him, but you have no intentions of having unprotected ex at 22. You do not feel ready. For marriage at 22. You went to uni to pursue a career. If he can't accept that. Then out out out. Third story. Am I the a-hole for sending restraining order against my family for claiming? My son is marrying his fiancée for him being his sugar daddy at various social media platforms. My son 26 male has always been fond of older guys and he 
always dated men older than 35 plus. Just like his fiance. Thomas 46 male who is actually a very successful cardiothoracic surgeon, and he also supports my son in his career he is a resident in internal medicine. Also we do not live in the United States so there isn't a thing called school debt here, and I 53 male never saw my son happier. The problem is my family. They never approved of him dating with older guys and it was also a big faux pas on their eyes that they have met in hospital Thomas was a guest lecturer for the residents in my son's medical school while my son was a medical student at age 21 so they do not definitely work at the same hospital so they are not speaking with him since 2018 other than my widower dad who thinks all of his family is crap and they need to get themselves together. His fiancé buys stuff. Like a lot and he likes to spoil him because he says he just needs to focus on his residency and graduate from it with minimal damage. He also paid for his first car when he was 23 and he bought a house and has written my son's name. On the deed with him after they got engaged at February 2021. We were planning to have the wedding this summer but Thomas lost his mom due to a fatal stroke and we decided to postpone it. To May 2022. It is gonna be huge. They both invited their clinics which will be at least 150 people from there. At least 200 people from their medical schools are attending, and since we are still living at the city where my son was born. My son invited. All of his high school crew and Thomas also invited his extended family so there are definitely 750 people in the list currently. His bio mom and family never showed any interest to kid and left. Him to me after he was born because it would ruin her reputation luckily they moved very far away after this happened and they paid all of the child support and provided a good medical history it was a one night stand but I don't regret it one bit in my family is not invited other than my dad. After he announced he was engaged. Most of my family started to post on Facebook and Instagram how my son found a sugar daddy to milk on and how he was a disgrace to entire community and I was a terrible father for letting him move. I was phone bombed by my employees and my partners. I had to explain this and it was very hard and grueling for me and my son. Then I called my lawyer and he suggested to have ARO for harassing online. We managed to get one in three days. Now. It has passed two weeks and everyone in the Nijiburhood blames us for getting a RO and not having a talk with them. Honestly. I don't want to and they can rot in their houses, but my dad thinks I went too far and nuked their records. So. Am I the a-hole? Fourth story. I 22 male and my girlfriend 21 female agreed to let her have a. Sugar daddy. But things turned around quick. So a little backstory. Ill call her Alyssa for privacy. I am a truck driver. And she is a hairstylist for a men's haircut place called Locker Room Haircuts. She gets all kinds of clients. One of them would flirt with her all the time. I'd always joke with her and tell her to flirt back so she could get a good tip. After I started this truck driving job, we talked about her actually getting him as a sugar daddy to low-key help with money. Problems kinda messed up in our part. We know. She had my full consent. That if she was comfortable with it and wanted to give it a try. She could have X with him. We are very comfortable and trusting of each other. We have been together. Nearly five years. She didn't like the X. And after she did it. It kinda hit me what happened. I let it happen. I am by no means upset with her. She. Ended things with him. Yes I do know who it is also. But he doesn't know that I know. Lately after all of this happened. I feel myself wanting her. Attention more despite her being busier than I am as she handles our kids and works almost every day. I don't know if this feeling I've been getting is jealousy or if I am just wanting to be closer to her because of what happened. I would like some advice if anyone has any to offer that may have done something similar. I love Alyssa. I wouldn't trade her for anything in the world. I guess I just feel lonely because I've been gone for 6-7 weeks and I am finally coming home in a few days. Too long didn't. Read. I am asking for advice on how I am feeling. Whether I am overthinking. 
or need to talk about what transpired. I don't think it's a bad jealousy. You all tried something new and it didn't work. It sounds like you. All have good communication and love each other. Maybe tell her that you are really not into it either and maybe need a little more attention because it hit you harder than you expected. Reassure her that she did nothing wrong and you don't feel any kind of way other than maybe a bit more affectionate. I'm proud. Of you all though. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel.